Hi, little learners. It's Miss Patty from the Cyberarium. What are we going to learn about today? What books are we going to read today? Well, it's April and it's springtime. And during April, we go ahead and celebrate Earth Day. Earth Day is a time when people go ahead around the world, think about ways to keep our world beautiful beautiful for us, for the animals, for the oceans, for the rainforest, for every living being, and of course, Mother Earth. So today we're going to be reading books about that. You're going to really like that a lot. And we're going to start off with a song. So are you ready? Okay, let's get up. Let's go ahead and sing this song together. It's We've got the whole world in our hands. And we're going to go ahead and do some hand movements and arm movements. Are ready? Okay, so when we do the world, it goes like this. We're going to do a big world, and then we're going to show our hands like this. So let's start out. We've got the whole world in our hands. 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 Next is the river and uh, rivers in the ocean. Ready? And that's, we're going to go like this. And then we go back to our hands, right? So we've got the river and the oceans in our hands. We've got the river and the oceans in our hands. We've got the river and the oceans in our hands. We've got, and again, we're going to do the whole world, got the whole world in our hands. And now we're going to do trees and flowers. So when we do trees, we're going to go like a tree really high. And then flower, we're just going to open up like petals in a flower. And then we're going to do our hands again. Ready? We've got the trees and the flowers in our hands. We've got the trees and the flowers in our hands. We've got the trees and the flowers in our hands. And then we've got the whole world again. Whole world in our hands. And one last one, the whole world again. Ready? We've got the whole world in our hands. 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 Very good. Yes, so since we have it in our hands, we definitely have to protect. The first book that we're going to be reading today is called One Earth. It's written by Eileen Spinelli and illustrated by Rogerio Coelho. And what are some of the things uh, that you love about our planet? I'm reading in the jacket to get a little bit familiar with the book. Did you know that you can help protect it? This book celebrates some of the amazing things about our world counting from one to ten. Let's go, our Earth. And we want to uh, thank Worthy Kids for allowing us to read the book and giving us permission to read this together. Ready? Okay. One wide sweeping sky. Two honeybees. One, two. Let's count together. You see them there? The two honeybees? Three bunnies in a nest. There they are. They're in a little nest. Four redwood trees. What beautiful big trees. One, two, three, four. Five clumps of yellow flowers. So they're little groups of little yellow flowers. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Six turtles snoozing. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, I love this picture. It's beautiful. Seven dolphins in the sea. Could you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, there's seven. Eight seagulls cruising in the air. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I love counting. Nine worms underground. Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. And ten fields to plow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
10 fields to plow. You see they're separated by fences. Celebrating Earth. Counting backwards now. So we start with 10, right? 10 scraps of litter. Toss them in the trash. I guess that's the way we can go ahead and make our earth look beautiful. Put things in the trash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine empty bottles. Turn them in for cash, or you could recycle them. But there are certain places that you could definitely uh, get some money for them. You give a couple of pennies or a dime for each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight plastic grocery bags. Weave them into mats. They're making little mats there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you see how they're weaving them into a plastic mat that could be used for something else. Eight plastic grocery bags, of course, weave them into mat. Seven towels getting thin, good for shelter cats. Oh, look at that. They just put them there nice and cozy for the kitty, for the kitty cat. Six flannel shirts, too old? No, they're cozier than new. Let's keep them. Five lamps to light a room. Try to just use two. One, two, three, four, five. And instead of turning all the lights on, they're going ahead and just using, he's just using two to read a book. Four pairs of socks with holes. You can learn to sew. Just sew the holes. And you have the pairs, so each pair is two. So one pair, two pairs, three pairs, and then four. Three avocado seeds. Plant and watch them grow. One, two, three. They're going to be avocado trees. Mmm, yummy. Two broken bicycles. Fixing can be fun. One and two, and then they have lots of parts that they use to fix the bikes. Almost finished counting. Now we're done to one. One moon. One sun. One earth. So beautiful. Remember, we only have one, so we have to definitely take care of it. The end. One earth, you, one you, also it says in the back, count the ways to help. And that is one earth. Next book that we're going to read is called Listen to Our World. I'm going to go ahead and play a sound right now, and I want you to tell me what you think it is. Let's see. Did you think monkeys? Yes, that was the sound of monkeys. Yes. Let's do another one. What's this sound? Did you think of parrots? Yes. Yes, they're squawking. They're, they're having fun out in the forest. So we can go ahead when we go out into nature, we can listen to all the sounds that are around us and just enjoy. So today the book is going to be called Listen to Our World. And it is by Bill Martin Jr. and Michael Sampson and illustrated by Melissa Sweet. Listen. Listen to Our World by Simon & Schuster. We want to give thank you to Simon & Schuster for allowing us to read this book together today and have fun with it. Are ready? Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. So in the morning, Mommy gives us wake-up kisses and says, Good morning, little ones. Can you hear the sounds of our world? Listen, listen, listen. All of them are being awoken up. And they're like, listen to the outside. Around the gray kapok tree, bright parrots flit and fly. The rainforest is their world. Squawk, squawk, squawk. And then the book, I have to turn it. Like this. I have to see like this. 
Near the tall cactus, Gila monsters crawl. The desert is their world. And they're hiss, hiss, hiss. That's the sound they make. Oh, this one's like this too. I have to hold it a different way. High above the mountain peaks, eagles soar. The wilderness is their world. We are, we are, with little baby eagles there. In the dense canopy, monkeys swing on vines. The jungle is their world. <laughs> Do you know how to monkey sound? Can you make the sound of a monkey? Sometimes go, <laughs> kind of like scratch like them. <laughs> and I have to turn it again. In the green undergrowth, baby pandas chew on sprouts. The bamboo forest is their world. <coughs> As they chew on bamboo. <laughs> All these sounds. I love it. Oh my goodness. In the oozy swamp, crocodiles glide through the algae. The marshland is their world. How do they go? <gasps> snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. <laughs> In the grassy savanna, kangaroos hop. The outback is their world. Click, click, click. Click, click, click are the sounds that we hear. <gasps> On the rolling plain, lions pounce. The savanna is their world. Roar, roar. Then the baby was roar. <laughs> oh, the book is turning in. On a freezing glacier, black and white penguins waddle. The South Pole is their world. <laughs> is the sound they make. In the refreshing oasis. Elephants find cool water. The grassland is their world. Honk, honk, honk. Honk, honk, honk. <laughs> In the blue sea, whales swim through the waves. The ocean is their world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to sound like a whale. I'm not sure if I'm doing the right, exactly the way they sound. They sound much better, but it says here W-A-H-H-H-H. -H -H -H. So I'm sounding out the letters and it says wah, wah, like the way that they would sound. At night, mommy gives us good night kisses. Sweet dreams, my little ones, all is well in our world. And then and the, at the end of the book, it has all facts about the animals, the gila monster, the parrot, the eagle, the monkey we saw, the giant panda, the crocodile, the kangaroo, the lion, the penguins, the elephant, the whale, and of course, the best sound of all, the children. Listen to our world. Well, I hope you enjoyed the books that we read and it really took us to different places uh, where things that we can do and all about our world. I love to count all the beautiful things we have around us and sometimes shh and listen to our world around us is a great thing to do. So I want to say goodbye to everyone and I hope you have a great day. I can't wait to see you next week and soon we're going to go ahead and have another video up so that you can go ahead and maybe make a craft with something that we can use in our house and we could bring it to the outdoor world and recycle it or we reuse it in a different way just like we learned in the book 
we may be making a birdhouse. So stay tuned for that. So goodbye, friends, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye, 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 friends. Goodbye, 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 friends. Bye.